Hi everyone! We've had some requests from new volunteers to create tutorials on how to use Zoom and Google Meet to work with students. In this video, we will be covering how to use Google Meet. So, you'll want to start with logging in to your Gmail account if you already have one, and if you do not have one, you'll need to set up a Gmail account at gmail.com. Once you log in, you should be taken to a screen, screen that looks similar to this. You'll see that I have clicked on Google Meet here at the bottom left or mid left screen where the camera is. That's one of the ways that you can access Google Meet. The other way is by clicking on your Google Apps here and then clicking on Google Meet here. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so once you're here, you're going to click on the new meeting button and that will bring up the option to create a meeting for later, start an instant meeting, or schedule in Google Calendar. When you schedule in Google Calendar, Google Meet automatically puts your meeting on your calendar and includes a link within that um, calendar event. So for today, I'm going to create a meeting for later. When that happens, a box pops up here that provides you with a meeting link. You'll want to copy and paste this into a message to your student and send this information to them so they have the link in order to join the meeting. I am going to copy and paste this link into a new tab here. And this is what pops up. So once you're into this screen, you can access a few different options to prepare for your meeting. And here you can test your audio and video. You'll see the video is working well. And I can tell that my audio is working because of the little blue circle here. You can turn off your mic and then turn it back on. You can do the same with your camera. And you can also access some visual effects here. So if you'd like to blur out your background, you can do so here. And you can also add these lovely little background photos here if you'd like. This can slow down your connection. So if you're having trouble with that, make sure to go back to having no effect. Once you're done playing around with that, you can close out here and it takes you back to this screen. Now, when your buddy has joined the meeting, you should see their name here. Sometimes that's not the case. Most of the time it works, but when you are ready, when the time for the session um, to start has, has come, go ahead and click on join now. Once you do so, you see you have your screen open up like so. Here you can turn off your microphone, turn it back on. You can turn off your camera. Sometimes if you're having a really bad problem with the uh, connection, the Wi-Fi connection, sometimes it helps to turn off your camera for a bit. You can also access closed captions here, which can be helpful if you and your buddy are having a hard time understanding each other. And then click on it again to turn it back off. Um, this is a raise hand option that's best in larger meetings. You probably won't use that for you and your buddy. If you would like to share your screen, if you have a presentation you would like to share with your student, um, you can click here. And then you have the option to share your entire screen, a window, or a tab. I'm going to click on a tab. So you'll see you can choose here to share um, whichever tab you would like. I will choose this tab, it gives you a preview, and then you can click share. As you can see, it shares this tab. When you're done, you can stop sharing here, or you can go back over to your Google Meet screen, and you can stop presenting here. Either way will work. Okay, other options. You'll see you have more options here. You can create a whiteboard, you can change your layout, 
which actually works best when you have more than two people in your meeting. Um, you can apply visual effects. Those are the same that you were able to do before joining the meeting where you can blur your background or change your background. Um, you can also turn on captions here and if necessary, use a phone for audio. You can see who's in the meeting by clicking here. And when you're finished looking at that, you can click on it again and it will disappear. Here we have a chat. So you can chat with your buddy. Um, if you need to send them a link to something or you want to type out a specific word, you can do that so here in the chat. When you're done, you can close it. And there's also other activities here. Many of these work best with larger groups, such as the breakout rooms, polls, Q&A, but you can also access the whiteboard here. You can close out here, or you can click on this button again down here. So that concludes our presentation on how to use Google Meet. If you have any other questions, please do feel free to reach out to us at info at Thank you and have a lovely day.